Welcome. We've seen a somewhat weaker than expected ADP private payrolls report on Thursday. 1.15 UK time was the release time. And since then, we've seen a bit of money going into the euro and a little bit of steam taken out of the Dow as well. Now, what this does is this gives us potential indications and certainly gives us a risk indication for tomorrow's Friday's non-farm payrolls. We're looking for something around about 175, 178,000 jobs to have been found in the US economy. That was around about the figure we were looking for today in today's ADP. The fact we got just over 150,000 extra jobs added in the US economy in December means that yes, whilst the employment picture is still growing, it's now potentially growing at a weaker rate than had otherwise been the case. So possibly now looking for a slightly weaker number tomorrow when the payroll figures come through. Let me just quickly take a look at what's happened on, on Euro dollar. This is the daily chart uh, for Euro dollar at the moment. And uh, in the last couple of uh, days or so, we've seen this move up for the Euro. Uh, this has really been on a little bit of dollar weakness coming through recently. If we change this into the hourly chart, you can see that uh, 15 minutes after the release of the ADP figure, you can see that this most recent candle is more bullish uh, than has been recently for the euro traded against the US dollar. So a little bit more ground covered now for the euro against the dollar. One feature that we have also been looking at is the potential for the payroll data out on Friday, either which way it comes in, to possibly tip the Wall Street cash or the Dow Jones Industrial Average over the 20,000 level. You only one look at the MACD here, and all of a sudden you can see now that there is this negative swing uh, to this index here. And this drop here that we've got and the fact that up here uh, we have uh, we've sidelined mean that this potentially is a bearish indicator possibly now for the Dow. So the Dow at the moment still unable to uh, breach past that 20,000 level. We brushed it a couple of times just before Christmas, but it's now looking less likely that we're going to get that figure broken anytime soon. It all depends though on tomorrow's non-farm payrolls figure. If it is a stronger than expected number, what this means is ultimately that the economy is doing well. It is creating jobs. There's the worry now that the growth is going to come with possible inflation, more inflation in the US economy, and this means possibly that the Fed may have to look at raising interest rates more. If it's a weaker number than expected, does the Dow rise on this on expectations that perhaps maybe the Fed's not going to do as much work as it might expect it to do in pushing interest rates up? So it's a very complicated picture, but certainly today's ADP figures looking as though it could well give a possibly uh, weaker risk to tomorrow's non-farm payroll figure.